Welcome to a new video. In this video I'll be showing my jazz collection on XRCD, otherwise known as Extended Resolution CD, and I'll kind of go into what it is and how it's better. Sounds The sound is usually better than your conventional Redbook Audio CD. But first I want to touch on what's going on in the world uh, due to the worldwide health crisis and a lot of content creators here on YouTube are stuck at home. I'm still working but I do have extra more free time on the weekends to think about videos and maybe write a small script and put together new videos, film them, upload them, and use them uploading videos and filming them at the same time on the weekends. Um, so throughout the week I'm not usually not filming videos. If I do it's a couple of short ones here and there, just all depends. Um, so yeah, usually I film a bunch on the weekends, then upload them starting Wednesday through Friday. Um, and that upload schedule is going to kind of vary. It just depends on uh, what I have to get done around the house, how much time that's going to take. That all affects me filming and uploading a video. Uh, but it hasn't really interfered with anything just yet, I mean majorly. Um, so I'm very excited to have this extra time to make videos. I wish I could film more, but I think I filmed enough for the weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. I enjoy doing this. It's not, uh, I'm not getting paid to do it. It's a hobby. It's a hobby that I enjoy quite a bit and have enjoyed it for the past 10 years or so. So, all right, let's get into the XRC Jazz XRCD collection bags, Groove and Miles Davis with Milt Jackson at the xylophone. Great chill out music. I think this contains bonus tracks as well. This is my earliest XRCD in the, this uh, collection. Relaxing with the Miles Davis Quintet. I think this one's, yeah, this is how they look. The process is they take, use the uh, original master tape, transfer that. Then it goes into the mastering process. Then you, you, they use a special JBC 20-bit K2 uh, analog to digital converter or something then they throw it into the computer but they try and preserve the um, the analog signal as, as much as possible that they create a master uh, by cutting it a big piece of glass you know I guess in a circular form K2 super coding in bit down mode they just try to just reduce any kind of you know signal distortion or anything like that or anything that's going to make the song I mean the album sound too digital and sound brittle or uh, too loud or anything like that cooking with the Miles Davis quintet these are all great jazz albums by the way um, now these these two just have original out excuse me original album tracks a little bit of a tongue twister there <laughs> um I think the rest of these don't have any. Uh, uh, one of these has some bonus tracks here. Let's see. Da, da, da. I think. Yeah, some of them do have alternate uh, takes of songs, and some don't have alternate takes. So it's kind of. Yes, some have bonus tracks, and some don't. Yeah, some don't. One of the newer uh, XRCDs that I own, the rest of these are newer. Uh, more recent. Uh, this is Hank Mobley's Soul Station. I love how they updated the picture here. It's like a, a brand new transfer of the picture in uh, high definition. Yeah, here's the back. This is how the backs of all these are going to look from here on out. Um, and I do plan on buying one more Tina Brooks uh, XR CD. I'll probably buy it sometime this year. just all depends. You know, with this worldwide health crisis, I'm sitting here having to help family out with bills. So it's kind of hard um, and pay my own bills, but hey, hey, we'll all get through this together. Um, Horace Parlin, Quintet, Speaking My Peace, with Stanley Turrentine, Tommy Turrentine, George Tucker, and Al Harewood, Harwood. Uh, yeah, this has alternate takes as well. Okay, that's cool. So it kind of extends, you know, a short album, and this came out in 2009. The other one, the previous one, came out in 2009 as well. I believe these other, these, these two are newer. 
But yeah, that Tina Brooks one I wanted for a while. And these are a little pricey, um, mainly due to what's, what's going into the making of them. So I try and get them when they're on sale, but they're rarely on sale. Tina Brooks, um, Back to the Tracks. Great. A lot of these I previewed in MP3 format or listened to the records and thought, hey, I want these on the highest qu quality CD I can get them on. So that's what I did. This I had to hear through MP3. I've never heard the record. There's two U.S. pressings that I know of, um, the original and a classic records pressing. Both all those are expensive, so this was the next best thing, that I, the cheapest option. Um, I think this contains... Uh, nope, no alternate takes on this guy. This one was on sale. The only one I've bought on sale. Freddie Hubbard's Open Sesame. Great album. Just great. You have Freddie Hubbard here on trumpet. Tina Brooks on tenor sax. McCoy Tyner on piano. Sam Jones on bass. And Clifford Jarvis on drums. I mean, this is a great jazz standard here. Um, I don't know if kind of blues on XR CD, I think it is, but it's hard to find. But anything I already own on CD, any album I already have a CD copy, I'm not going to buy another one. Um, and I have a lot of my jazz I have in uh, audio file formats, whether it be vinyl or XR CD or Super Audio CD or uh, Ultra CD or, yeah, I think it's Ultra or something like that. That, that was the old Mobile Fidelity's uh, CD format that that. But yeah, I haven't opened some of these, and I am going to soon do some reviews of some of these as well. So that is my Jazz XR CD collection, guys. A little small. The collection is a little small, but it will grow in time. So there you go. Thank you for watching.